Hey guys, uh, my name is uh, Solomon Jaguya. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's been a while since I did a, a ZBrush uh, video. Uh, today I am back with a, another video, this time focusing on ZBrush 2019 on my iPad Pro. <laughs> I love doing these videos because I know a lot of people have been questioning, you know, like how we're going to use uh, an iPad Pro, you know, to do uh, ZBrush modeling, but uh, I've been able to actually successfully do this. That's not my work. That's just, uh, I think, a screensaver for a ZBrush as you're working on it. And But what you see in the back, let's click on here, tap the screen. So that is a character that I've been uh, working on, a sculpt that I've been working on. And uh, I'm using my Apple Pencil. Uh, on my PC, I'm connected to my PC using uh, that cable and you can do wireless uh, connection or you can do uh, like a, a coded connection. So today I'm doing the coded connection because I want a little bit of uh, better feedback. Um, I want to see, you know, some of the new tools that I've been able, uh, I mean, have, were announced in ZBrush 2019. But for me, um, the reason why I use this uh, the iPad Pro to do the sculpting is because I don't have a Cintiq where I can actually draw on the screen and you know, sculpt on the screen. I still use this uh, Wacom tablet, but the I would like I like being able to draw on the screen on the sculpt as I'm working. So, for example, here, as you can see, the touch functionality is working, right? And I can uh, also zoom in real close. And if I need to use the keyboard shortcuts, then I I just uh, hold the shift control over there on the keyboard. Mm, but I, in the past, I've also used uh, a Tablet Pro, which is another program that is a companion for Duet. So the app that I'm using is called Duet. And you can actually see it here on the desktop of my iPad. Go back in. And again, this is uh, an extension of the desktop from my computer my pc and i understand in uh, the, the ios 13 they've they've added a new feature where you'll be able to connect your device directly your tablet uh, ipad pro to your um, imac well i don't i'm using a pc <laughs> in this situation so uh, i think the, there's uh, another uh, app that is available on the app store that's supposed to help you um, connect your I, uh, the MacBook Pro to your iPad Pro, but so far, at least from what I know, this is the PC app that I know that can connect your iPad Pro to your desktop. And uh, as I find out more, I'll be able to test those. But for now, this is so far. Duet, Duet, is the app that I use the most. Okay, so let's do some sculpting. I did a lot of talking, <laughs> no, not a lot of sculpting. So let's do some sculpting here. I'm using the clay build up. At some point I'll pause so I can mount the sorry about that. <laughs> it it fell down for a second there. But anyway, uh let's carry on with some sculpting. I'm holding down the shift key on the keyboard and smoothing this out. So I find this much easier than using the like the Wacom tablet. So I know there are some things that are not, you know, perfect, but this is a much better experience than using the iPad, <laughs> sort of the Wacom tablet rather. So if you have, if you own a tablet, uh, sorry, an iPad Pro and you're looking to sculpt 
directly on the screen. Okay. <laughs> and you look into it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let's build up some more detail here. Smooth detail. Smooth. And rotate. On this side. So right now just layering the detail as I go along. And I wanted to show this um, a longer session of this because uh, the fact I did uh, three other I mean two other videos of uh, ZBrush and I think some people thought it was like, like pretending like this actually works. But uh, this is it. This is an Apple pencil and uh, i'm using the ipad pro it actually works let me switch to damn standard uh damn standard and ordinary old kit crit nice crease shift smooth it out so now when you want to add a lot more detail then Activate Sculpt is Pro mode, so I don't have to worry about uh, subdividing. So guys, um, I hope this has been, you know, in a way helpful to show that you can do a long session using your iPad Pro uh, to sculpt, you know, details uh, for your, you know, 3D model. So it is actually possible. And I, I absolutely <laughs> love sculpting on my iPad Pro. Um, well, someday when I have a little bit more money and I can invest in a Cintiq, I'll be able to do that but for now as long as I have my iPad Pro uh, it can w serve as a dual purpose uh, you know tablet uh, I use it to develop uh, iOS apps but I also can now use it to sculpt which is pretty pretty cool and we can isolate that These are the teeth uh, on the inside. So we can work on this side also.
so and please uh don't forget to subscribe and if you have questions about uh, the iPad Pro, please let me know. Uh, I'll also include the links to my other videos that I uh, recorded using, uh, rather sculpting in ZBrush using the iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil using Duet. And this time, there's no, I didn't use a Tablet Pro. It was just straight up uh, connection to my computer, uh, extend the, the desktop to my iPad Pro, and I was able to create these guys. So let's bring the eyes back in. So that's it, folks. See you in the next video.